Hey, what's up everybody? This is your boy Blake, your chief of the Blue Blurs, here to present you with my live reaction and analysis of the official trailer for Sonic Origins that dropped today unexpectedly. The website with the game actually went up just last night and ironically I was going to report on that today and then this came up and I was like, oh my god, it is really happening. And what makes it even better is, Sonic Origin has been set to release on June 23rd for multiple platforms. And that's awesome because that, as any Sonic fan knows, is Sonic's birthday. So they chose an excellent release window for this game. And that puts it right at the tail end of the hype surrounding the second Sonic movie. So although I would have liked this to happen a little sooner, they are at least capitalizing on the excitement over the movie by introducing fans to the classics that started it all, which is exactly what I had hoped for. A little later than I would have liked, but better late than never. So without further ado, let's check out the official trailer for Sonic Origins. Bruh, yo, that animation. And there it is, the Sonic Origins logo. Oh my god, this game is getting an opening cutscene. If you're getting a trailer like this, it's definitely getting a cutscene. Play the game that defined a generation. What, coins? Now, 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 hold on there, Sega. I demand explanation. Poor fully remastered titles. Bro, what is going on? Why did that say coins now? Wait, hold on. Coins? It, it actually replaced my life count. Yo! Oh my god, this animation. If Tyson Hess didn't have a hand in this, I will be mortified. Well, not really, but you know what I mean? Oh my god. No way. Knuckles and Sonic 1 and Tails and Sonic CD. Let's freaking go. Oh, that editing was awesome. Classic modes. Oh, so you can play the game with their original resolution and with their lives. And anniversary. It's in the newly remastered widescreen resolution with the coin to placing live. So it's kind of like um the Tails say... They watched Victor McKnight's up to speed music video, didn't they? Y'all saw that, um, y'all saw that reference, right? Let me go back and look at it again. Oh my god, that's Hidden Palace! Yep, y'all can't tell me they did not watch up to speed. That was totally a callback. Oh wow! Oh wow, that was awesome! Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, uh... Available June 23rd, digital release on all major platforms, nothing physical yet? Okay. And they even said it themselves, celebrate Sonic's birthday, June 23rd. Yeah, I see what y'all did. I made 31 years look good. Oh yeah, Sonic, yes you do. Yes you do. They weren't kidding when they said they were going to be adding new features to this game, but what I'm most curious about are the additional music tracks and bonus, well, I'm, I'm curious about this entire list, let's be real here. Additional music tracks. They had to have done something with the Sonic 3 soundtrack because, you know, the whole legal thing with Michael Jackson and whatever, that has to be a part of it. But additional makes me think there might be a little bit more to it. And Origins is also coming to Epic Games, so that might not sit over well with the majority, but it is also coming to Steam, so that should balance things out. Let's, I gotta watch this over again. This animation is, oh my god. God, this animation style is heavenly. It kind of reminds me of the style for Team Sonic Racing Overdrive meshing in with Sonic Mania. Does anyone else feel that way? Wow, Collision Chaos! Looks freaking... It looks freaking gorgeous! Does anyone else see this art style? Yo! <laughs> oh my goodness! And that Sky Chase! I predicted a while back that they were doing an opening cutscene for Origins. It would feature a lineup of stages from the classic games, and I sort of called it. This was a trailer, though, so I bet the opening animation will be different. Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles, of course. Uh, hold on. Let me see that character select screen. Mm, a little bit basic. But what did that pencil and paper icon up there mean? Anyone have any idea? Feels like some kind of editing feature that might be a play here? Guess we'll see. Anyway, let's keep watching. You, you had to show off Knuckles and Sonic 1, of course. Knuckles and Tails? Yo! <laughs> they took notes from Sonic... I think you could do that with Sonic Mania. No, you could do that with Sonic 3 Air. You could have Tails as your partner character while playing Knuckles. They had to have taken inspiration. Classic mode and anniversary. 
I love how they kept the original resolution for the games. It looked pretty thick. And Anniversary. This has to be heavily based on Attack Man remakes. And I wasn't really paying attention, but, uh... Oh, man, I need to see this again. Hidden Palace. Whoa! Oh, my God. Wow. Hidden Palace, yo. And they gave us a brief glimpse of the mural. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. And those are the Chaos Emeralds coming out behind the logo. All the detail in this trailer is dazzling. Bro, that's awesome. Let me go back to, um, where shows off Sonic 3. There it is, Marble Garden in widescreen. Widescreen Sonic 3, guys! Heck yeah! We already had that with Sonic 3 Air, but in an official capacity now? Oh my god! Bruh. And this music too, we cannot neglect to talk about the music. It is so upbeat. It perfectly captures the essence of this trailer. That is so cool. Now, what I'm curious about, what do the coins mean exactly? I was going to say earlier that they felt similar to the concept of a tail save in Sonic Calls Ultimate, but they're specifically called coins, so they must be to unlock extra content. I bet that's what it's all about. Oh my god, did anybody see the expression with Sonic? <laughs> but wait a minute, how are you going to put Amy's animation and not make her playable? Sega? You owe us an explanation! People have been begging to have Amy playable since Sonic Mania. Y'all going to do her dirty again? Come on! Come on! I know y'all can do it. Okay, so this here is the website for Sonic Origins, complete with the artwork that we've seen just yesterday. And if we go down a bit below, we can see screenshots of the game along with a bit of information up here. Classic Sonic Redefined. Relive the, um, the classic adventures of Sonic 1, Sonic 2, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, and Sonic CD in the newly remastered Sonic Origins. Pre-order and receive the Start Dash DLC pack featuring in-game currency, 100 bonus coins, new mirror mode unlocked, and customize your playthrough with themed letterbox background. Wait, so by letterbox background, they must mean these. They were done in the Sega Ages repackaging with Sonic 1 and Sonic 2 also. They had backgrounds when you wanted to play the game in their classic resolution. If you didn't want to stretch them out to make them actually resemble widescreen. But as stretched as they looked, it never looked all that pleasant. So if you played normal resolution instead, you got these guys. And wow, these Origins backgrounds feel so freaking lifelike. Y'all see the rings? My god, these look so detailed! <laughs> Oh my god, these look so cool. Now, if we go over here, we have a screenshot of Angel Island. Oh man, does anybody see this render? Yo! I've always wondered how Angel Island would look in HD. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> I am... I'm completely losing it right now. Angel Island looks... Oh, it looks so gorgeous. Okay, so we have here Anniversary Mode. Play the game with updated features on a 69 screen resolution. Okay. And there's a boss rush. Hi, Sega. I see you. I see you. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do some boss rush videos, huh? Okay. Okay. And Blue Spears. Of course, they had to bring that back. It's a staple for Sonic 3 at this point. Now, what's... Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me go back real quick. Open map? I, I, what maps have you guys been working on exactly? Maybe you'll find one of them in these screenshots. Oh, so they're including soundtracks from other Sonic games in this collection. <laughs> Although in the case of Spinball, I don't know if I would wish it on anyone because that option seems... Boy, oh boy, is it a nightmare. But it was thoughtful of them to do with all the same. Really cool. Now let's see. God, Sonic 3 in widescreen. It's not a site I'm unfamiliar with because again, Sonic 3 Air, but to see an official capacity from Sega still does not feel real to me. And there's a coin thing down there. Cue every Mario or Sonic fan out there going all, what in the heck is going on? Is there a crossover at work here? <laughs> well, the whole coin versus rings debate is going to hit an all new level. I'm calling it right now. And what we have here 
is what looks like um, a mission menu. These must be the bonus hard missions that were referred to earlier. And they even have ranks and all. Yo! S and A and B and C. Okay. Well, they're giving us more reason to play through the classics. They're already taking tremendous steps in that direction. Um, let's see. For example, Caterkiller Swarm in Scrap Brain Act 2 defeat five Caterkillers and reach the goal. And there's other missions like Twinkle Toes, Ring Rush, Ring Challenge 50. Dang! This reminds me of the mission's content that they had for the Nintendo 3DS version of Sonic Generations. And they threw that into this game? Yo. I'm totally on board with that. Alright, so we come down here, we have the pre-order page for Sonic Origins. Yes, just to let you know, I'm totally pre-ordering this game. I just need to take a look at this real quick. Fairly basic way to display the benefits, but all good. So we choose a platform up here, all right, and... Oh, coming soon? They don't have the Switch pre-order page ready yet. Okay, anyway. They have a standard edition. This only comes with the main game, but there's also a start dash pack. Included with the pre-order of a standard or digital deluxe edition. And you get the start dash pack. It comes with bonus coins, the mirror mode, and the letterbox background. Okay, pretty cool. And there's a premium fun pack. I'm guessing that will be released at some point down the line. Along with the classic music pack. Pretty sure they did something similar with Sonic Colors Ultimate. When they um, gave the bonus soundtrack their own DLC package. I think that's what this is. If we go down here, we can see that the classic music pack... Additional music tracks from Mega Drive and Genesis titles. Like the screenshot of Sonic Spinball from earlier. Okay. And uh, over here, the Premium Fun Pack. It comes with a hard mission. My boss background. Character animation in the main menu. Character animation. Do they mean like the opening cutscene? Ha! <laughs> and um, camera controls over the main menu islands. You actually get to take a closer look at the islets in each of the title screens. <laughs> okay. I love that. Um, character animations during... During music islands. Wait, so like, um, the DA Garden feature in Sonic Mania? I think that's what this is referring to. And of course, if you get Digital Deluxe Edition, you get everything except for the, um, the Star Dash Pack, which is included along with the Deluxe Edition, so technically you do get them. And yeah, I'm totally going after this. Wow, they even have a different colored background for the Digital Deluxe Edition. Kind of like an Encore mode style of the artwork, I like this. Okay, so first of all, I called it earlier. Tyson Heth did indeed have a hand in working on the animation sequence for Sonic Origins. Working alongside the Powerhouse Animation Team. You guys absolutely knocked it out of the park, but I would not have expected any differently. I knew I saw some kind of similarities with the Team Sonic Racing Overdrive art style. It felt like it was being blended in with the Sonic Mania art style, and I'm pretty sure inspiration from Sonic Colors Rise of the Wisp was taken also. Cause Tyson Heads had a hand in all of those sequences, so inspiration had to have carried over, and it all came together to look so beautiful. I could watch this sequence over and over. Take it back to Sonic Mania, where when they put out the opening cutscene, before its release, I kept watching the video for hours upon hours every day until the game came out. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do the same thing with Sonic Origins. Y'all awesome for this. Thank you so much Tyson Hess and thank you Powerhouse Animation. Your cutscene is remarkable. Beyond remarkable actually. Hey, and hey, 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 look at this. It's funny I mentioned Sonic Mania in this video because I noticed this post from Head Cannon. One of the developers that had a hand in the creation of Sonic Mania. Check out this post right here. This is what Head Cannon had to say. Head Cannon is proud to announce that we have been working with Sega to recreate Sonic 3 and Knuckles for their upcoming Sonic Origins collection. This completes the official remastering of the mainline classic and marks our fourth time out with Sonic the Hedgehog. They took Taxman's vision and saw it all the way through to the very end. You guys, mm, thank you all so much for helping out with Sonic Origins. Sonic 3 looks great for what you did with it and I cannot wait to play it. It is awesome. And I'll leave it to you guys to read the rest of the thread for yourself, but suffice to say, it must have been a satisfying story to have lived through. And looking at these FAQs on Sonic Origins from Katie Chris here, one point in particular that jumps out at me, 
is that the game is digital only, no plans for physical at the moment. Makes sense because Sonic Mania launched in very much a similar fashion, but it did eventually get a physical release, like a year later when they announced the add-on content. They might take a similar approach with Sonic Origins depending on how well received it is. I definitely would love a physical version of this, but I guess to make it happen, we gotta show them that we love this game and are so excited to play it. I know everybody's got their minds on Sonic Frontiers right now with it being the newer game and whatever, but I think Origin is gonna keep us held over until then. So, let's show them how much we want a physical version of this game. What do y'all say? So I was just looking through Twitter, and I saw that Son of a Glitch was actually involved in the remaster of Sonic 3 and Knuckles as the lead artist. Bro! Fans and Sega coming together once again for an amazing creation like this. I never ever get tired of seeing W's like this. Let's read through this real quick. After what feels like a cosmic eternity, I can finally announce I am a lead artist for the remaster of Sonic 3 and Knuckles included in Sonic Origins. If you follow my channel, you'll have noticed I haven't uploaded very much lately, and now you know why. I'm incredibly proud to have been part of this collection. As many of you know, I'm a huge Sonic fan with Sonic 3 and K holding a very special place in my heart, and all of ours. For the opportunity to work on bringing the modern console came along, I just had to say yes. I would like to thank Stealth and the Head Cannon team, who are amazingly talented and passionate about this hedgehog, and also Sega for letting us work with them. I'm so excited for everyone who loves Sonic to see Sonic Origins when it releases. Happy 30th anniversary, Sonic. You should probably make that happy 31st anniversary, but we'll take it. Okay, so I finally found what I was looking for. More screenshots of Sonic Origins, and these are coming in from Tailless Channel. We got some dazzling artwork of Sonic on the left, coming in from the artwork scene from the PlayStation Network reveal, and on the right we have the Sonic Origins logo, with a nice color choice of bright blue and green to go along with it. Yo, that is so sick. Next screenshot, wow! Hey, classic Sonic and classic green hail anybody? <laughs> this has to be um the artwork for Sonic 1. Wow! The detail here it is, mm, it gotta just jumps out at you. Now what's next here? Uh, oh, the Mega Drive or Sega Genesis artwork for this letterbox background here, yo. The console getting acknowledged across every region. Let's go. What else do we have here? Oh, these have to be the online leaderboards. Nice. Probably has a score attack and a time attack mode of sorts. Would it be the first time I've seen something like this implemented for a Sonic game? I can recall other examples like, say, both episodes of Sonic 4 having similar features, and Sonic Mania had them also, I think. Alright, two more screenshots here, and I think I'll call it, so check it out. This looks like, I believe, the soundtrack list, maybe? Can't really tell since it's in Japanese, and unfortunately I can't read Japanese, but there you have it. These being labeled by number, this is probably the soundtrack list, or maybe it's a level select. No, it's not a level select, because the top screen theme wouldn't be included with a level select, I think. So it would have to be the soundtrack select. And if we look at this other screenshot, what is this layout? We're not gonna look at me staying the same ever again, are we? I'm actually... no way. Is Knuckles having to glide all across this without actually dying? Are these, these have to be the bonus hard missions. I'm suddenly mad anxious now. Just how much harder are these? <laughs> Well, I think I can look forward to some fascinating livestream sessions with this game. I don't know if I'm ready though. One more detail I wanted to confirm real quick before I end this video is the price tags for Sonic Origins. It's similar to Sonic Colors Ultimate. The standard edition is being priced at exactly 40 bucks and the digital deluxe edition, 45 bucks. Pretty sure there will be debates over this price tag, but the way I see it, this strikes me as reasonable because this does include a repackaging of multiple games, rather than just one game, unlike with Sonic Colors Ultimate. And when you also factor in the new feature that they are throwing into this game, the price tag makes perfect sense to me. At least, that's my opinion. If you want to disagree, go for it. But personally, I don't see any issue with this, and heck yes, I'm going to pre-order it exactly as I said I would. That will do it for this video, guys. Sonic Origins is looking mad crisp, and if you don't mind, I think I'm going to have to go back and rewatch that trailer. I don't, I don't know that replay, but it's ever going to get any semblance of rest today. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that's it for this video. 
How excited are y'all for Sonic Origins? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and I will catch you all in my next upload. Peace out, Blue Blurs for life. Take care. <laughs>